What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanessa and today me and my husband are gonna be installing switches on my Jeep Sport for knee lockers. So let's get to it. All right, so first we have to take out this stuff. This is gonna come off, this is gonna come off and then we are going to run the wires through the firewall. We actually opened this up before and ran wires for a PA speaker. All right, so the reason that we are wiring this up for e-lockers is because right now I'm running a Dana 30 that the Jeep came with, and we ordered a Dana 44, and it comes with e-lockers, so we have to get the button in there, and that is gonna be a whole other video. We disconnected the battery, and what are you doing right now? Taking the coolant reservoir off so we can run the wires behind it. There we go. Is in case any of you guys were wondering, why didn't you just buy a used axle? Well, we would, but we're in Alaska and there is literally no junkyards around us that have any Jeep parts for this Jeep. Buying it through the dealer cost us zero shipping and we didn't pay any taxes on it. Now that he's got that bracket put on, he's gonna put the coolant tank back on and then this is going to run across here. So when this axle comes in um only the front is gonna have a locker we have the limited slip in the back which doesn't have a locker in it um not quite sure when we'll be getting that when we move in a few years we'll probably try to find a used one that's the plan and then we'll have to obviously wire that from the rear up here but we will already have the switches wired so it will be a lot easier all right, so we struggled doing it the way the direction said, so we're going a different route. We pushed the coat hanger through and taped it to a wire, looped it up. Hopefully, it'll go through much easier now. Well, the wire came through. Then taped some good old petroleum jelly. All right, so we taped um, the harness to this wire, which we already sent through and it's gonna pull through this way. Put some Vaseline on it and send it. Hope for the best. I think it went through. Yep. Keep going. There, it's coming. You got a little bit left. Oh, there, it's in. That harness just came through right here. And now we're gonna have to take this off to run the switch right here. I would definitely recommend the wire trick of using some Vaseline right. or grease or something. I'm gonna pull this orange wire out of this connector and hope, hope it works, because I'm scared. It's gonna work. He always likes to pretend like shit's never gonna work and it always does. So I had to go feed the kids and I missed all the fun stuff, so. What'd you do? Well, after we got the wires through the firewall, I had to de-pin a connector, taking the little orange wire out of the connector. And it was very difficult. I threw a little hissy fit. <laughs> but I got it out, and then you put it in the new connector with the kit, and then run the wires. So here's the wires. And then he took off these two pieces. We've had this off before, so you didn't break any clips before, did you? Mm -hmm. So it's still nice, but he said it came off easier this time than it did the first time. This was right here, and we just put these buttons in. And the fun part is clipping it back on. Here's the starter, the start button. Right here. Is that one on the bottom? There, that should be good. So just what happens when you take stuff apart. Yeah, and then it never goes back to where it's supposed to. But now you can see we've got these buttons. And we are only gonna use this one for now because like I said, this axle, the new axle that we're gonna put in um, is the only one that has a locker. The rear won't have one. All right, we got everything wired and the whole inside of the dash put back together and that's all we're gonna do for now. Um, we're gonna have more content coming when the axle gets here. So if you wanna see more of that, 
click subscribe so you won't miss any. I'm sure I'll have a playlist of Jeep stuff to put on here. Yeah, so if you like this video, smash that like button and I'll see you guys in the next one.